Hello, my name is Carly Nelson, and this is going to be a WordPress tutorial on how to create more than one blog page. The goal is that by the end of this video, you will be able to create more than one blog page. First, you'll need to log into your account. You can do so with the URL shown above. Once you log in, you'll be shown your dashboard. And the dashboard has several different options that you will have. You can add pages, you can add links, etc. So take a moment to check those out, either now or some other time. But today we're going to be working with our posts. So posts is going to be the second tab from the top. So if you just hover over that, you're going to be given some more options on the right. So let's go ahead and make a new category. So the third one down from the top. All of your blog posts will automatically be sent to the category called uncategorized. So what we'll need to do is create separate categories. So let's go over to my blog and see why I'm going to want to make these different categories and make different pages. So here's my blog. As you can see, I have a test blog and then let's say I like to blog about music. So then there's also a music blog. So I want my viewers to be able to see my test blog entries and then also a separate page for all of my blogs about music. So let's go back to categories. So there's going to be an option to add a new category. So I'm going to just say music. You can call your, your category whatever you would like. So go ahead and click add new category. So as you can see it shows up on the right. And then I just want to, um, I want a regular blog. So I'm just going to put blog or you can say my thoughts or whatever you want to name it. So add new category. You will also have an option to add a description or you can put this category under another category. There's just a ton of options for you to do. But I just want to create it as its own category all alone. So as you can see, I've created some more categories for our blog. So let's go over to posts. So as you remember, it's the second one from the top and it's on all posts. So in the category section, you can see that um, right now our two blogs are set as uncategorized. So let's go ahead and click on the music blog. And then on the right, there's going to be several different options. You can have the publish dialog box, the format dialog box, and the category dialog box. So let's go ahead and click on music and get rid of uncategorized. Update. Go over to the dashboard again and go back to all posts to see the changes that we made. So as you can see, um, our music blog is under the category music. Let's go ahead and do that on test blog. Scroll down to categories. Just click on regular blog. Go up to update. Always remember that whenever you make changes to update, so your changes are not lost. So go back to post. So as you can see we changed the categories for both of our blogs. So now to create the separate pages. So you're going to want to go over to appearance which is the fifth one from the top including this collapse menu. Let's go to menus which is the fourth one from the top. So as you can see we have our three menus. We have our blog, our test um, page, and our home page. So, you're going to have these options of things to add to your menu. So, we're going to go down to categories, which is on the very bottom. So, you have the most used, so the most recent categories that you have created and worked with. And then you can also view all of the categories that you've created. So, we're going to add the blog and the music. So, by doing that, these are added to our navigation bar. So you can either have them be their own tabs or you can put them under another tab. So if you just want to hide them under your blog, you are able to do that. So, But right now, I'm going to just make them their own standalone tabs. So go ahead and save the menu. And then let's go over to our blog to see the changes that we made. So you're going to want to have hit refresh. And then you can see the new pages that we created. So you'll have blog, and then you'll have your music blog. 
I know this was another pretty lengthy tutorial, but thanks for sticking it out. Um, today you learned how to create more than one blog page in WordPress. So please feel free to contact me at cnelson10 at woo.edu or comment below.